So what does dry mean? So dry stands for don't repeat. Uh, so don't repeat yourself. So that's the very first thing, uh, don't repeat. Well, it's often mistaken, and I mentioned this a few times already myself, it's often mistaken that we are focused on duplication of code. Well, we talk about that quite often, but this is a lot more than duplication of code. So what does Dry really say? Dry says, don't duplicate, and don't duplicate two things. One, code, so that's the first thing, code, uh, and also effort. So don't duplicate code, don't duplicate effort. Now, when we duplicate code and duplicate effort, it comes back to haunt us. Duplication of code is something we all recognize very quickly. But let's think of duplication of effort before we come back to talk about duplication of code. Now, imagine for a minute you have an application where you make a change to the database schema. And the minute you change the database schema, you decide that you have to change your HPM file. OK, you change your HPM file. What's the next thing? I got to change my you know, mod model class here. I got to change my DIO class here. I got to change my controller here. I got to change my view here. And then when you're done with all the change, you say, boy, there was a lot of change, but that's life in the big city. What can I do? Well, but where did all the change start? All the change started with the change to the schema. And so that is an example of a duplication of effort. It's not the same code we wrote in each of these places, but it is a different code, but the effort started by making that one change. Here is another example. You, are, you need to perform a validation on your application. Well, for performing this validation, you got to do client-side validation and server-side validation. Now, clearly, we all can agree you don't do client-side validation and go home. You have to do both server-side and client-side always if you're going to do client-side because you can sneak behind this client and get to the data on the server-side. You got, got validation on both sides. Well, OK, but on the server-side, I got to write Java. On the client side, I need JavaScript. After all, it's two different languages. What can I do? I'm going to write the code in both places. Well, that's a duplication of effort, even though it's not the same code you are duplicating. And it's important for us to take some time to say, how can I capture this, which is exactly what the dry is talking about. So what does the dry principle say? It says every piece of knowledge uh, in a system, so knowledge in a system, should have a single, unambiguous, ambiguous, um, authoritative representation. So it says, every piece of knowledge, and after all, we are knowledge workers, every piece of knowledge in a system should have a single, unambiguous, authoritative representation. This was written in the Pragmatic Programmers, a uh, fantastic book if you haven't had a chance to look at it. But uh, Pragmatic Programmers talk about the dry principle. We should not duplicate effort. We should not duplicate uh, code as well. Now, I remember my painful experience from my past. I was working on an application where uh, a server side, a simulator that I was working with, uh, would choke up and fail when a certain data is sent. And I was eager to make sure this doesn't you know, happen. So I was in charge of developing the UI. And in the UI, I had gone in to verify that this kind of stale, you know, incorrect data doesn't get through. Well, a few months went by. One of the engineers fixed the problem on the server side and tried to enter the data. And the UI said, sorry, we don't permit this. It's like, yeah, we do. And he filed a, a bug for fixing it. It took us several months to fix it. Now, why did it take us several months to fix it? Because in my eagerness to solve this problem, I had spread this code across the UI every single place. And you know that's really bad programming. You say, gosh, that's really bad. Well, but isn't that what experience is all about? Experience is where you do all the bad things before your luck runs out, right? So I had done this, and I learned about this. And it's like, oh, eventually, like, that's a really bad pro programming. Don't do it. And we begin to learn quickly and say, how do we eliminate this problem? Well, well, create a little code that becomes the validator and call this validator from different places so it doesn't really become more expensive to change this code. So what does the dry principle do? It reduces uh, the cost of development. Now, how many times we see configurations being duplicated? And it's a nightmare. You probably have seen places where you go to configure something, and people spend enormous amount of time doing the same configurations in multiple places. That is a sign when we got too much duplication going on. We got to find a way to write scripts and eliminate that kind of duplication. That's very important.